Hello and welcome to the Box Populi. My name is Amanda Polk and this is a segment where I take a game I've been really excited about playing, play it with a bunch of people for the first time and get their hot takes on it. The game we're talking about today is First Rat. Um, this is one that I had been looking forward to a lot. I had uh, seen it and I was personally uh, quite smitten with the theme. Um, we'll see what other people thought of the theme in a minute. But uh, before we do that, let's find out how people would describe this game in one word. Surprisingly fun. Junkyard. Silly. Colorful. Adorable. Cheesy. Rats. Okay, now let's go to the table and just get a quick overview of how this game plays. So you'll see here there's one big track where you're, uh, you're racing your rats up from your... Um, from the burrow at the bottom all the way up to your rocket ship at the top. Uh, there's three sort of sets of resources you're collecting all along the way. Uh, one is this sort of the, the baking soda, vinegar, tin can calculator, that stuff, uh, which, uh, which is what you're using to build pieces of the rocket. Um, and each time you build a piece of the rocket, you get to set a cube out and uh, you'll get in-game points for that. There's also apple cores that let you move around the burrow track down here, which is how you can, depending on where you decide to turn in the burrow, you can go down here the short end and pick up comic books, which will give you special powers. You can go through the middle here and go by the nursery and uh, release another rat onto the track. And then if you go all the way down to the end and do the big loop, you'll be able to put a cube out down here. And this is another point scoring opportunity uh, on the apple core track. There's also, you score points for getting your rats onto the rocket by getting to the end of the track. So that's another way to score points. And then additionally, you can score points by donating cheese and by advancing your light bulb. So those are the other two uh, resource types. There's the light bulbs here on blue and the cheese here on yellow. So that is generally how the game plays. The game ends when one player has put out all eight of their uh, scoring cubes. You actually have 10. You get two additional ones you can put out in the final round. Uh, but if somebody puts out eight, that triggers the last round and then there's one more round with everyone getting equal turns. Or if somebody gets all four of their rats onto the ship. So let's, uh, let's check in with folks and find out what did they think about their very first play of First Rat. Each move like because you're moving multiple pieces at a time a lot of the time is so different so that's nice it keeps the game interesting i like i really like the uh movement mechanic it was a lot of fun it's a good good mixture of of tactics and strategy i would say the interaction between people it was a lot of fun i can see this being fun with four to five people not quite as good as with two or three I really liked being able to move multiple rats and trying to figure out the strategy to, to move multiple rats so that they stayed on the same color, um, but gave you the most resources. Um, also the thing with the electricity, trying to get your like light to the area that you are so that you get the extra resources. Like I really liked that mechanic in general. It's more fun than I expected, I think. The main interaction, of course, landing on other people's spots and having to pay them can uh, be fun and annoying and rewarding. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I liked it. When I first saw the board and I saw just like, this was the one track that we all had to go up, I thought we would accomplish it like that. And that we'd constantly be pulling out our additional little meeples to, to race up the track. But it wasn't like that. And I enjoyed also that the fact the more people playing, the better, because the points are also competitive. Not just like the strategies you chose to pick up, but I saw you guys like building part of the rocket. I was like, no, because I'm last. I could have built the rocket first. I was caught off guard by the end of the game. <clears throat> I was like, all right, I have this plans. I got my fourth rat out and I'm going to start doing some things. And suddenly, oh wait, the game's over. Wait, what? I get one more turn. I wasn't paying attention. I got to pay more attention to that. This is a theme that I was really drawn to from the get-go. I think I benefited from having like seen it all together 
um, initially, so not just sort of hearing the title and having to guess what it was about. I love space-themed games. I love cute little critters. I guess I love a junkyard, too. Um, and I found the theme very cute and charming, um, and I, I really enjoyed sort of getting into the story of it. Um, I actually think that I, I did the game a little bit of a disservice when I didn't teach it with the like the texture of like okay we are rats we live in a junkyard and so uh, you know the light bulb track this is us like providing more light to find things so when you're scavenging in the junkyard for these ever important pieces of the rocket ship we are building um, you're gonna find more things if you have more light um, the fact that we are educated by comic books and therefore comic books give us new skills um, and also comic books are where we learn that the moon is made of cheese and that we can get there by building a rocket with baking soda and vinegar. Um, that even like the, the little things like the engine of the ship is baking soda and vinegar, the, um, you know, the control center or whatever is like a, a, a calculator, a broken calculator, like all of these things. I felt like, you know, it was the, the trash that's been thrown out and repurposed by uh, rats who read some comic books and decided to go to the moon. I know at least one friend enjoyed the Ratanaut theme, uh, but let's hear from other people what they thought of the theme of First Rat. Uh, I really liked being a rat. I thought this was an adorable theme. I don't think it really mattered at all that we were trying to get to the moon and that uh, there was actually a spaceship at the end of your building. That, that probably was superfluous, but I liked that we were, you spent things in cheese and you stole things. So that was fun. <laughs> I was not pleased by the name, and I thought, oh god, are you kidding? And then I thought, okay, it's got to be some sort of weird party game, and I'm not sure what this is about. I'd, I'd, know, I'd know nothing about this game, so when I first heard it, I thought, oh, I don't know if this is something that interests me, just hearing the name itself. And then going online and looking at the game, I thought, oh, this looks kind of cool, because the rats are very cute, and everything's colorful, the graphics are great. I think it could have been any theme. It was more of a setting, right? It's It just co really comes down to getting resources, using the resources to get points and repeat. There's there's nothing that made me feel like a rat other than that there was cheese. And um, I didn't really feel like uh, I was building anything so much as collecting things and um, trying to collect them before the other players. Like you find in the junkyard. And no matter what you thought about the theme of the game, the art is undeniably cute. And it's colorful. I love the artwork. It's super cute. Um, the colors are really nice. Um, they're nice and bright, even against a dark background. So I like that a lot. It's, it's not a real brain burner. It's a pretty easy game to pick up. And uh, most people thought it was a good mid lightweight family game i would love to play it again yeah definitely um cool that the backside has variable setup and i think this would be a really good uh gateway game for young gamers i thought it was going to be maybe geared more towards kids but when i heard first brad i thought it was like a little kid game i thought this was a super fun game it was really easy to just just start playing and not have to ever look up a bunch of questions or rules it was uh uh, no barrier to entry, you could just start playing. It's quick, it's snappy, there's lots of ways to get points. Uh, the teach is pretty fast. The iconography on the game was a little daunting when you first looked at it, especially the player aid. Um, and, but then it actually makes a lot of sense and is really easy. We, um, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward and kind of intuitive for junkyard rats. Um, but we didn't find ourselves having to check the rule book a lot, like beyond just like making sure, like doing the setup and making sure we had the right counts of things for the right player count. Um, and I think the only thing we ended up checking in the rule book was end game, the like when it's triggered by the eighth cube going out versus the fourth rat getting on the ship and and how that affects end game. But besides that, it was pretty easy once we got through the initial setup. What is this Japanese comic book? Mm. The iconography is easy to grasp. 
at first, like, this is, like, a mystery. Like, what the heck does this mean? <laughs> but after you play the game through once, then you're like, oh, yeah, I understand all those things. But at first, it's like, this is a foreign language. The layout of the game is pretty self-explanatory, so that's helpful. I like that. Play rate. Very good. Not everyone thought the game played very smoothly or equitably, depending on where you were in the player rotation. Um, and n not many folks thought that this was a game that had sort of like infinite replayability, um, though I'm pretty much always willing to play a game this cute. I would say that there does seem to be a disadvantage to going later, you know, going third or fourth. And I know there's no difference between second and third, but there was a lot of times where I would have a plan, be thinking about it for 10 minutes, and then right before it got to be my turn, that plan would no longer be available. And so after that happens a couple of times, it gets a little frustrating. Even with the variability on the board, I still feel like I would still do the same strategy every time. I would go for the comic books first and some sort of ongoing ability to help me boost for the rest of the game and this is the way I would play every single time mm. no matter how it's set up so it's a very fun game it's great to play a couple times but after a while you're like okay I'm just going to do this and this and this each time so yeah and I wish I got to do more like I wish I got to do the burrow trek more um and I didn't get to do the light trek but that just kind of makes me want to play again to do those things so it's kind of just a game about choices it, while it's a lot of fun, I think the it's not a very deep game strategically, so I think uh, after you know five or ten plays, you're going to have experienced everything there is to experience about it. Uh, in this playthrough, for example, I, I didn't build the rocket at all. I got one little piece of the rocket, and everyone else was focusing on building the rockets. And um, But I contributed lots of cheese to the, the supplies for the trip. Um, next time I could do something different, but I think, again, after a bunch of plays, you'll have done every variety of... Uh, of tasks that you can do, get the various bottle caps, the various backpacks. So um, it's, it's great that it's so fast to teach and it's a lot of fun and it's very cool looking and I like the theme. But, you know, I'd probably cap it out at five to ten games for me. Mm -hmm. But I'm used to heavier games. So I think for a family or a party, it'd probably be great. So that's First Rat. I would love to hear what you think of this game and what your first play was like. Um, until next time, happy gaming. Bye.